Hello, and welcome to the library instruction session for Camp 100. This session will provide an introduction to the library's business resources. We'll explore how to access the library's subject guides and databases to find articles on current and historical business information, as well as industry, company, product, and consumer information. The library's website can be accessed via library.louisville.edu. The first thing that you will need to do when accessing the library's resources off campus is to click on the accounts menu at the top right side of the screen and select off campus login. You'll be prompted to enter your UofL user ID and password. This recognizes you as a current and valid user of our system. Once you've done that, you will be routed to this page, which indicates that you're logged in. Click on the library's home link to return to the library's main page. We'll take a minute to explore some tools that will help you prepare for and conduct your research. The first tool that we will look at is Research DIY or Discover It Yourself, tutorials that are designed to instruct you on how to do research. In the center of the page, in the Discover box, click on More Research DIY. As you can see, there are quick tutorials on all aspects of the research process, from starting your research assignment, to finding and using sources, and writing your research paper. On the right side in the Create box, there is a link to Citing Sources. Here you will find short videos on how to cite sources according to different styles to incorporate into your research paper. On the far right side of the screen, you'll see a link to Ask a Librarian. There are several different ways that you can receive research assistance from librarians at UofL. Chat service is available Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can also use the Ask a Reference Question form to contact us via email. Or you can schedule an appointment with one of our librarians to discuss your research project. Next, we'll explore the library's subject guides on business. The library subscribes to over 300 databases on a wide variety of subjects. You can find all of those in the databases A to Z list, but that can be a bit overwhelming and quite time consuming. Librarians have taken those 300 plus databases and arranged them by topic into subject guides. We have guides that range from anthropology to women's gender and sexuality studies. All of the guides have the same format, so once you use one, the other should look familiar. Only the content will change. To access the library's subject guides, click on Subject Guides under Quick Tools on the main page. Our focus today is on the Business Subject Guide. This should be your launching point for business research. If you look on the left, there are recommended databases for business research. If you click on the More Business Databases link in that box, you will be shown a list of all of the databases that we subscribe to that contain some aspect of business information. With these databases, you can search for overviews of an industry, information on companies within that industry, and information on products and brands from particular companies, and information about the consumers who use those products and brands. You can also search for journal articles on business topics in scholarly journals, magazines, newspapers, and trade publications. There are 40 databases that we subscribe to that contain some aspects of business information. Notice in the center box, there is a list of guides for different business topics. Some are subject specific, some are class specific, and some are general business guides. Our focus today is on the general business subject guide. The guide is divided into sections based on the type of information you're looking for. In the first column, you'll see scholarly or academic databases, and another list of databases where you'll find articles and reports from magazines, newspapers, and trade publications. Below those, you'll see several links for tips and tutorials on how to search a few of the databases. In the second column, you'll see company profiles and directories, as well as industry, company, and consumer data. And finally, in the third column, you'll see links to other business-related databases. We're going to take a brief look at three different databases today, one for finding scholarly articles, one for finding company information, and one for finding consumer and product information.
The first database that we will explore is Business Source Premier. You may have heard of or already used EBSCO databases in your research. Business Source Premier is a database produced by the vendor EBSCO. It is a broad database containing a range of content from industry reports to company profiles to market research reports, as well as articles from over 2,200 journals dating back to 1965. When we click on the link for Business Source Premier, it will take us to the advanced search screen. This is typically the default for all of our databases. The advanced search allows us to focus our search by limiting our results to contain certain elements. Today, we'll search for information on sustainability initiatives in small business management. We'll search for small business and sustainability. Once we enter our search terms, we have the option to limit our search. If you look below, there are a variety of criteria that we can limit by. We can limit to full text, we can limit by a particular publication name. For example, we can specify if we only want results from particular publications, such as the Journal of Small Business Management. We can also limit by date. If you're only interested in the most recent information, you might want to limit to the last two, three, or five years. We can also limit by publication type. This refers to the category of publication where your article or report is found. For today's search, we will limit our results to the last five years. As you can see, that returns 566 results. If you receive a large number of results, you can further limit your search using the left sidebar. Scroll down and notice that result number six links to full text articles. If you look at result number five, you will see there is no linked full text. There is, however, a Find It at UofL button. The Find It function links to the full text of the article if it's available in another database that UofL subscribes to. The next database we'll look at is listed in the Company Profiles and Directories section of the Business Guide. Mergent Intellect provides business data on public and private, U.S. and international companies, as well as industries. We'll search here for the company Colgate Palmolive, the manufacturer of personal care products and household cleaning supplies. Notice that as we type, a list of company matches appears. We would like to view the first one, and we can do so by clicking on the name. This is the company profile for Colgate Palmolive. Each profile has five main sections, company details, financial details, industry details, executive details, and family tree. Under company details, we have a company overview, which includes a company description, its history, and some information about its products and operations. Also in this section, we have a company brief, which lists the latest news about the company pulled from a variety of sources. We can also use the Surrounding Companies link for a visual summary of what surrounds the company geographically. There's also a competitors list, and each company name links out to that competitor's profile. There are also links to all of the company's SEC filings and annual reports. Financial Details provides charts detailing the company's income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, ratios, stock and price chart, as well as historical financial and stock price information. Industry details links to reports that provide an overview of the industry to which the company belongs. The executive details section gives you a list of people, officers, and directors at the company. The officers and directors link provides a biography as well as compensation information. The Family Tree section shows you a list of all of the company's branches with links out to contact information for each branch. Next, we'll look at Product and Consumer Research. In the Industry, Company, and Consumer Data section of the Business Guide is a link to Statista. This database provides access to studies, statistics, industry reports, and marketing and trend data on consumer goods. It is our premier database for product and consumer information. The product that we are searching for today is deodorant. You'll see in the column on the right that we had 773 results. We can narrow those results by selecting the type of resource that we're interested in on the left. 
We can look at statistics, studies and reports, or expert tools. Notice that the icons in front of each one correspond to the icons next to each entry in the results list. This tells you the type of result that you have. First, we'll look at leading deodorant brands in the U.S. 2019 based on sales. There is a description below the chart, which you'll want to read to confirm that this chart reflects the type of information that you're looking for. Over on the right, you can see the source of the data and where it was published. Oftentimes, there is a link to the publication so that you can follow it to read the larger article where the data is embedded. You can also see that the data was gathered from a survey, and details gives you more information about that survey. The download options download the chart only, and you can insert it into your report, spreadsheet, or PowerPoint. Just make sure that you are citing the source where you found it if you do so. Statista makes that easy for you with the parentheses icon, which generates the citation for you based on the citation style you select. We can narrow our original search by adding keywords to our search. Add the term loyalty to pull up those results that mention brand loyalty for deodorants. Notice that narrowed your search results to 14. One thing to note in the chart, Women's Reasons for Switching Deodorant Brands in the U.S. 2017 by Age, you can put your cursor over the chart to view details about each bar. We encourage you to explore the other business databases on this guide. Remember that you can reach out for assistance from a librarian at any time by using the Ask a Librarian link to chat, email, or schedule an appointment.